Hi, and welcome to English with the News. Today we will learn three advanced vocabulary words and phrases from the news headline. Now let's get started. Now let's take a look at the first headline from BBC News. And the headline reads, Climate change. Bill Gates backs Australian startup targeting cow burps. Now let's learn the first word, back. What is back? Well, back can be a noun, so it is this, but in here, back here is a verb, which means to give financial, material, and moral support to. For example, he had rich parents backing him. Here's another example. This medication is backed by decades of research. And the third example, I need to find angel investors to back my startup. Now let's take a look at the word from the headline again. It says here, Bill Gates backs Australian startup targeting cow burps. So Bill Gates supports this Australian startup. Bill Gates supports them financially. And did you know that there is an idiom that has something to do with back? Yes, there is. The idiom is, I have your back. I have your back. So what does that mean? This idiom means to help or to look out for someone in case they need assistance. For example, I can always rely on my parents to have my back. Here's another example. Uh, don't worry, no one's gonna hurt you. I have your back or I got your back. Now let's expand your vocabulary. Here are some synonyms or alternatives that we can use instead of saying back. So we can say to support, advocate, or sponsor. And here's another word from the headline. Startup. Bill Gates backs Australian startup. So what does startup mean? A startup means a newly established business. For example, I have a startup. Another example, I started my own startup company. Now here's another example. We started as a small company selling wholesale products. Now we manufacture our own products. Now let's take a look at the third headline and this is from digitaltrends.com. Headline reads, Bill Gates investment aims to tackle cow burps. Now the next word that we're going to learn is to tackle. What does that mean? To tackle is a verb which means to make efforts to deal with a problem or a difficult task. For example, we need to have a better way to tackle diseases. Here's another example. How do we tackle the increase in oil prices? Now here are other synonyms or alternatives that we can use so we can expand your vocabulary. The first one, we can say to address. How can we address this issue? Or we can also say go about. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me to learn some English. And as I mentioned in my previous video, it is better to learn at least two to three new words per day rather than learning 50 to 100 new words per day. It is because if you learn two to three new words per day and really digest and understand how to use them, you will likely remember the new words permanently. What's better is if you can actually use them in actual conversation. That way, the new words will not be stuck in your subconscious. And if you like shorter lessons like this, please let me know so I can upload more videos in the future. And don't forget to connect with me on all my other social media accounts. I have my Facebook group and I also have my Instagram. And that is it for today and I'll see you in the next one.